Hi guys, welcome back to Wayne Project Hobbies. My name is Edwin. So today finally is the Skaven type release date. And I, I, like all other collectors or also players for Warhammer, I get my copy. So this time we're gonna unbox. Oh, what's wow, really heavy. We're gonna unbox the Skaven type. So Skaven Tide is like starter or technically a set for each whenever new edition of Age of Sigma release. This time uh, Age of Sigma since 2014, I believe now it's actually come to the fourth edition. So in these 10 years technically they have renewed four times and this is the latest one and it's for the Skaven type. Uh, as usual, it's still the same old poster boy, which is Stormcast Eternal. It's really quite standard for whichever uh, Warhammer starter uh, refresh. Technically, this time, uh, of course, they actually hint that technically they be dish of the Sigma as a liar or technically anything. But we also can see they uh, try to make a more new scout, which is gonna milk our cash again. <laughs> and uh, But no worry, because this time they have really, really cool uh, miniatures especially for Skaven and I, I collect this to be frank is for the Skaven so without further ado let's crack this open I also cannot wait anymore so let's gonna open this okay so now finally we're gonna crack this open so this is the front cover of the box of Skaven type uh, quite standard just show you one Stormcast Itino and here a slight sneak peek of Skaven here's a sneak peek of Stormcast so at the side is actually pretty much the same to be frank i don't think it's much different than the front cover the side also the same uh i'm not saying the design is lazy la, but i guess it's yeah maybe in this is lazy uh, technically everything is just identical copy and paste even another side is also the same so from the back the back actually show us quite a lot of content so he actually give you an overview of the entire models you're gonna get uh, this also in the same time they show you they're gonna give you a core rule book which is 272 pages and most important they're gonna have a spearhead fire and jade 144 pages and i also heard from uh, others that uh, for other content creator we actually gonna get all spearhead uh, rule pack or this or the full content in the book so technically you guys actually just buy the book i mean you get this given type you really can play almost all army as given type same time, we also get general handbooks card for terrain features, which is really with small terrain. And of course, it's just left with another 74 miniatures. So now let's crack it open. Oh, this sticker's a bit open. Oh, it's so let's flip it back. Oh, this is a huge box. Oh, so first thing first come into our eyes is a very nice artwork. So you can see now they actually prefer their storm cast in the silver color. I think this is also matched to their chamber or whatever like the focus. Skaven quite more flashy tone feeling. So uh, red kind of red look quite standard. Their iconic color red and also those third clothes. Then here is full of miniatures. I mean, this is like a mountain miniatures. We have lots of bases, and I not too sure why they also separate. Probably is a little mispackage. So I think oh, they probably will be less stomachs. Never mind. So we are gonna sort out the spur one by one. Then we will take up slowly. Okay, so first pro, I believe this is uh, Red August, which is more slightly close to Stormfins now. And finally, I remember Stormfins name. So uh, Red August now, finally we have another post and I think we have extra hits. So we have actually have optional build now. It's not just, of course it's a push fit, lah, but we still have more uh, little options, lah. minimum option. Then second Spro is Stormcast. I think this is one Spro is 10 men. Uh, also same, I heard it's push fit. You doesn't really need a uh, glue. That's what they said. But I still advise you guys to probably glue for better and more solid grip. 
In the same time future, it will not crack open your pen. That's very, very important. So they give you two. So I believe this is 20 Liberators. Finally, we have, I forget what his name is, this Savatus. Technically, this is the old wing guy, but this time the old wing is finally caught on, caught on fire. It's a flamey feel, uh, look quite okay, uh, pointy, pointy stuff. They all have a nice base, uh, technically it's on a small hill. It's definitely a cool catch-up and a nice miniatures, so uh, good for painting also and for future conversion. Okay, I was given boss on the red mount, uh, red wolf mount or something like that. Really, really cool. And I actually trying to attempt maybe do some cool conversion for this because this look really, really nice. And I think in future I really high probability I'll get extra copy. So of course I will keep them and do some extra conversion for a better choice. And we need we need more. I think this is not nip hero, so definitely we can convert and have multiple units for our army and also for the over this is i uh, is our just uh, finally plus the just over oh, that's a very long rifle that is really cool i think this is only one unit so we only have three so everything is just right here oh it's quite small and mobile but i'm really happy finally we came in plastic of just so we have waited so long years after years more than 10 years and this is, I believe this is a rattling gun. It's actually a new unit. Uh, so I'm quite happy with it, I think. Maybe after I assemble, I see. But what I like is their size is actually quite big. Of course, they can be bigger. Everything can be always bigger. But still very cool. And add into the engineering. They need total another four rats on top to pull the rattling gun. So, okay. This is Stormcast uh, Hero. But I think this is like a combined set because one side it gives you, I'm not sure, is this a quest or so? Uh, oh, this is Lord Raritan. Then, of course, this is our Grace here. And of course, our engineer, Warlock Engineer. So, this is our heroes, Spro. Okay, this is the brand new one. We have a Grief Stalker on and with a Lord Vigilant. Uh, the, the Grief. Hate, I believe I believe somebody have really commented that because I feel lately the grief also a little look like skaven it's like a bit ratty feel uh, but uh, once we assemble with paint we can see maybe how we can make it nicer I will still keep the stormcast to be frank this this unit I'll keep the stormcast but probably is not my main army this is clan rats finally very cool we have 40 of this so we will have way more I think this is, should have one is 20 so here is 40 just 40 rats right here uh, again all push fit and i believe this is gonna be a nightmare to paint it's because it's very grinding stormcast eternal i think this is the elite unit and also some hero we can see this is the person who hold the hammer this is actually our poster boy lord terminus and others hero unit i think we also have our night quester here ah uh, this is a night quester i'm not sure can we actually make some kit back and just cut off his hand that holding the torch last bits okay uh i like to complain lah, but it, it can be better but i think this is also one small round of improvement they actually start to give you terrain they even give you measurement uh tools which is really good because you can see Skaven, Skaven, Red uh, is actually an improvement. They give you Skaven a light terrain piece. Really nice and really good piece. And it's a perfect place to add to our Azerite Rune City also. I'm probably trying to get as many copies as possible. But we will see how it goes. And we hope JW came out more terrain piece. Bigger, better. So once after we take out all the Spros, now we come down, we should be left with the books. So here again, we have more sprues, more sprues. Uh, we also have, a, I'm not sure this is a token. And we actually have a unique code. I'm not sure is this, later I'll try to check, uh, does this unique code actually still work out? Or maybe we can just give off. Oh, this is a really nice cover. I think I will probably gonna try to make a diorama maybe as follow as this copy also same thing sadly the book uh, covers a bit damage i'm a bit sad about that to be frank 
because uh, I'm a collector, I hope my condition is as pres prestige as possible. If you even cut this thing off. Okay. So, we, if I'm not mistaken, this should be the card for General Handbook. Is it true? Let me have a look. Uh, to be frank, I'm not really sure. But I guess this should be the general handbook data cards. Uh, then this is oh no, I tell me that is just normal game. Then this is only the general handbook they give you in the card form, which is I think is very good. It's even better actually, uh, because we know if you buy separately this book probably cost you uh, retail I think it's 165 but they just give you this instead so you actually have like a mini version into the box which is super good deal okay this is our assembly guide uh, the SP is still gonna glance through see look at GW now they give you so many size and base type we actually super confusing to be frank uh, and sometimes I hope they can just centralize to just lesser type uh, you guys you guys can just zoom in have a closer look if you guys like uh, to have I try to make it 4k now okay so this is the assembly guide uh, you guys if uh, happens to split or did not have the instruction you guys can always pause my video and you guys can have a look I will just a quick glance through you guys can have a go through here I think they actually still doesn't have no they actually have a multi parts which is really good so you can see even the Lord Raritan we have three version you can build of course the flaming sword is a, will be the coolest uh, for my opinion uh, and no I think it's just one build sadly yeah I want it's only one single build I thought they are multi part lah so here also is i think just all single build because all is push fit still push fit everything means it's just nice you can't do multi pose yet and maybe they do have uh, extra head parts yeah they only have extra head bits uh, for your reference so and uh the fillers uh. those part there have a uh, option for you to choose how you like to do but all other weapons i believe is the same and one thing update about new age of sigma actually their weapon uh stats actually now they all make it very general so they don't care you are spear they don't care you are sword they just say one hand weapon or they just say weapon so everything's the same then here is our hero uh claw lord or Norbis, mm, very nice. We finally have a very huge wolf, Skaven, or Rat, and definitely we're gonna convert one in the very soon future. And look, this is to show you a painted version also. Then our nice Grace here, Warlord Engineer, Ratling Warp Blaster, and Red Orgos, Warp Light Jesso. I really think actually a lot of people want more Jesso. I also like to aim way more just so if I could be able to get my hands onto it. And this is all our Skaven. Since it's quite push fit just nice, I assume they do not have any extra parts, just that they give you maybe one spray in the same, you can just put in just different costs. They similar to how like how zombie build means that the uh, lower lower torso and upper torso is all is the same connection, but of course on top is uh, you can mix and match whatever body you like to do and lastly is our terrain piece uh, not really i mean nothing really wow but uh it's better than nothing i'm still appreciate it but i still hope gw can put more effort and grow our terrain and this is the board for uh spearhead really really nice and actually this time i think their quality is even better because compared to the war cry the their board now look way more colorful and nicer so uh, this period later we will open and this is the end of our first sub box and now we're going to open the second one which i believe will be the core rule book 
look at the nice D string wrap. I'm not too sure why this broke, but uh, okay. I think I need a small knife. Or maybe I do not need a small knife. Okay, technically it's open. And we just gonna take out the two brand book. <sighs> to be honest, this is really, really heavy. I'm not sure why we have a small bits here. I think something broke off. Uh, we were gonna check out our bits again. First is our core rubo, standard cover, and lastly, this is our spearhead bolt. So let's go back. Okay, so. For our core robot, same thing, we just gonna open and we're gonna glance through, see any wow. Okay, this is introduced. Actually, this is a symbol of uh, Stamkas Itino, just that just they give you a small crack that you can see the corruption of the scale is from beneath them or within them or whatever they, they like to say. So here is collecting an army. They show you, I believe this is Golden Demon. And uh, wow, actually I kind of appreciate it now because they have getting more and more artwork here which is very good. So they have really a lot of artwork, which is very nice. So in old days, actually GW is a bit, I, how would I like to say is, uh, have room for improvement, but this time it's way better. And I like this old, old book feeling, which is like a Mordheim, Mordheim feel. Actually, this is artwork really look like Mordheim. And they introduce you the laws of the rats, and the storylines. Then now they introduce the mortal realm and technically the universe la, of the entire age of sigmas. Oh, this thing can open. Wow. So they actually tell you the world of everything what is exists now. At least in visual, not like last time they simply just give you one picture, one picture like this. Now they also tell you the realm stones, uh, technology, Ooh, this look really like Hasud. I think this is actually a snake pick for Hasud. It's the chain any day looking smash for him. Yeah, this definitely uh is actually a snake pick or technically an indirect announcement to tell us actually uh Chaos Dwarf is on the way. Ooh, really cool terrain piece. This is actually a screaming bell. Uh, sorry for the light reflection. And this is more of the, they actually show you the realm one by one and they actually give you the world map. So almost technically each realm is a world. So each world have their own world map. Technically you can see it's a different planet. And they actually show you everything. This is where Slanesh is going to hide on to now. Technically that's what I can understand. And Ugu, this is where I think the morality is, and where this is where the elf is. This is a really nice artwork. I probably future a chance are we going to convert something like this. And the dwarf also. This is the age of chaos. Morality have grown even bigger and bigger. And this is our woman lord. Oh, this is actually a lot of cool artwork here that I could future to do for our conversion project, our painting and diorama. Because I like the inspiration for the artwork and try to imitate to bring to the real to, from all this. And I just kind of glance through, I believe you guys can eat. just get the boat and purchase in your future so that you guys have more surprise element. But this is a simple glance through. Okay, behind here is one thing good. They have a very cool range of all the rules that how you guys can play or how you guys should learn how to do. Uh, they're more simplified now. But of course, I heard the spearhead is even better. And it's easier, lah, not means better. And oh, now they actually have a few more details on the terrain piece. And first blood match play better pack. Uh, yeah, so better plans and this is the end of the core robot. Uh, same thing is introduced like if you doesn't know what is Age of Sigma, this is where it should start. 
very very nice and you guys can check out also once you get get your copy fire and jade this is totally brand new thing we also gonna check this out and inside i believe what we all really wonder is actually the spearhead armies okay this is how we're gonna set actually the boss is just really small to be frank so i believe just turn one you guys can clash it out stormcast eternal without any surprise this is exactly same as the starter probably it's just uh stormcast i mean 60 percent of it and this is the rules and the stat for each of them so this is for lord regiment lord rare return and our prosecutors and our lab uh, liberator stormcast also have a second one this is actually from dominion set so whoever still have dominion congratulations you everything here still valid your stump card still did not missing it's like so well and this is your battle trace for your stump card you know so uh our angel nyastra or how do you even pronounce this thing nyandrasta still there chariot still okay vanquisher annihilator and also knight Rexilla. Then now is City of Sigma, which you see really announced for the Spear Hitbox. Totally worth it. Box is super worth. We actually have a free guild marshal, which are cannon, and also five carry, and lastly, ten free guild steel helm. Technically, just the first man. Seraphon. Seraphon, I think this is almost identical to the old Vanguard box. No, oh, probably because they also even have a new scalp. So it's almost the same. And now you can put Cross Seagull, which you can put the big guys in. And this hero, to be honest, this hero existed since the 8th edition of Fantasy. It means it's more than 10 years old. But the scalp still relevant and nice, so I'm okay with that. Lumineth Realm Lords, which is actually the high elves, or technically the flashy elf. So this should be exactly the same as the Vanguard box. Nothing changed much. What I see is still almost the same thing. Doctor of Cain, also same. I think this is exactly the same as the Vanguard box. Actually, I'm kind of curious of Iron Jaws. Do Iron Jaws anything change? Okay, it doesn't have Deep Keen, and this is also same as the Vanguard box, I think. I'm not too sure about this. I, I can't forget how the Vanguard box this look like. It has been so long. C1F is the same. I remember this is the Vanguard box. And this is the stats. You guys can always, anytime, can just pause the video and to have a closer look. Crowdown Overlord, I think this is also exactly the same as the Vanguard box. I mean the old Vanguard box, which we believe will came out the new spearhead. Fire Slayers, uh probably the same. I'm not really sure. I last I see fire box in my retails years ago, so I'm not too sure is this the latest Vanguard box. Yeah. Skaven, exactly the same as our cool old uh, I mean the starter now. We everything on new scalp and all new model this is the stats for our skavens and this is also for the other unit and one thing good skaven also have two spearhead this is actually the original when guard box with using storm fins and of course here the features is the old gray seal scalp and also the yeah, but here they put the new scalp pictures huh? Slave to Darkness definitely is from the old set of Vanguard. still old uh, everything still the same Blade of Corns, also same. I think this is like the start collecting set box, almost identical. Yeah, probably almost identical. And finally, we can able to get this. I remember this last time, we only can get through the magazine. And, and of course, from the starter. You can't buy separately, I remember. So this is, of course, from our Disc of Zinj. Maggot King of Nago. I believe this is also the same. Or oh, probably they have different... Uh, unique because I remember last time I think it's a different hero or oh, I could be, I could be wrong blades this is slanish technically it's mortal slanish or oh, that was sexy girls or or whatever they are yeah yeah prefer pronoun because they are actually both actually a uh, hujw will be more daring also a bone reaper uh same as Vanguard box everything's the same uh so black grave lot also the same just exactly like the Vanguard box Nighthorn, oh Nighthorn actually they changed to this hero already. I remember last time it should be a different one. 
but now they give you back the Knight of Shroud. So I believe they also finally reissue back. And our FEC, I believe it released the list with it, so this uh, no surprise element. All Root War Clan is exactly the same as the Dominion. Uh, this is exactly the same, this Gloom Spike Gates, exactly the same as Vanguard, same. Uh, this is also same as Vanguard Box, so nothing much surprise. Actually, this is like almost close to, to... If I'm not mistaken, this is almost close to their like, old Battle Force set, just that they were missing the, the Giants. Son of Behemoth, uh, Son of Behemoth only have this, so maybe can't bring the big guy yet, yeah. Horrible. Oh, they actually do not have a mouth crusher. That's surprising. That means that maybe they're going to release later date or they have not made a list yet. So, setting up for one, and I believe uh, rules of this we can check out on others who play the game and make a uh, combat patrol and not make a better report. Lah, so, it's more easier. So, here you have more spearhead reference and user weapon rules. So that's all for our box opening of our scale and die. I hope you guys are happy. Definitely this is a lot of thing. And now we also hope we can start assemble and prepare for our spirit game in our shop retail. And I actually have more free time on weekend now, finally. So I also can't wait to unbox and paint my rats and maybe our stormcast also to play the game. So see you guys on the battlefield. That's all for today. So if you're really happy of this box opening of Skaven Hype, and please, you guys, if you haven't get your copy, feel free to go to your retail, or you guys can go to online to check out, or can go to our sponsors just to order your copy of your Skaven Hype. To be frank, this is a very, very good deal. It's must get, even as a collector, or even you want to start a game, this is a really, really good deal, and it's a good place to get. If you like this box opening and a review, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell button and the follow button so you not miss out the future cool content. So that's all. See ya.